What's up, girl bosses? Today we're <laughs> checking out. Ah, it's so motionless and white. This is scoring the end of the world featuring Mikolaj Gordon, the Doom guy. Really excited for this. Oh my god. Uh, fuck. Last we heard Slaughterhouse featuring Brian Garris of Knocked Loose. That was an insane track. Super heavy. Oh my god, my nose hurts. Ah, uh, man, it was good. It was good. Their album comes out next week, Friday. Really, really excited for it. I say we get it, but before we do, uh, I really appreciate it. if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Helps me out a ton. Helps you find new music down in the description below are all of my social media links. So make sure you go follow me off the platform. Live stream on Twitch every Friday, 7 9 p.m. EST. Let's get it. My nose fucking hurts. Oh, that bit wasn't worth it. Pretty sick visualizer. Long live our symphony in infamy where this sadness remains. Loving the electronics, really nice. Adrenaline now coursing through our veins. Long live our symphony, this infantry survived a thousand times. Oh, nice, nice course. Nice, I like how it's pretty simple. Oh, that wasn't even the chorus, this is. Nice pre chorus, very, very low energy, right? Minimalist. Add in all these elements, very good. It's hard. Kind of symphonic, too. Picking up a little. Kind of corn-like right now, actually. This is, this is a really nice, smooth song, but super dynamic. I like that a bit. Quite a bit, not a bit, a lot. Nice. Dude, what is this, Coming Undone? Spirit of Corn. Feels like the most new metal song so far. This is nice, I like this quite a bit. Nice, chorus too. Really good progression there with the symphonic. Is it Lindsay Schoolcraft on this? They didn't put credits. Right off the bat, second favorite single. First is still Slaughterhouse, but I feel like this one, and it's not its not like by like uh, Slaughterhouse and like a long shot. It's like Slaughterhouse and this is like right up behind it. It's really fucking close. I really do like this and I'm surprised that I liked such a, like a clean track. But I think it's just because like the ambient elements, the um, uh, are they're, they're pretty fucking like nice just in terms of like progression, the structure. There's a lot of emotion behind them. 
Uh, there's a lot of emotion in Chris's voice, which I really do like. Uh, I did like the decisions made here. And then, um, you know, the guitar work, you know, the metal side of things. It felt a little more minimalist, which I kind of liked, uh, you know, quite a bit just because it let all these other elements shine through. Uh, and it felt like, it felt appropriate. I'm glad there wasn't like any crazy breakdown or anything. Cause honestly, it would have kind of like messed with the vibe a bit. I feel like, uh, I, I heard people say that a bit with Masterpiece. For me personally, I felt the kind of fit it was a nice amount of contrast. It wasn't too much, but here it was, it was, it was perfect. That wasn't like just like some fucking crazy breakdown. Instead, they, uh, kind of doubled down the chorus, extended it a little, extended it a little, extended it a little, not a bit mixed with a little, biddle, but I would have preferred to say little. But yet I did not. That is a tangent. Rain soupy, me loopy. I like this song quite a bit. I liked it quite a bit. It, it really does remind me of um, some corn stuff, especially like there. There's that section in the uh, a, sort of at some point in the chorus where it's like uh, kind of like coming and done, just guitar wise and just guitar tone, which I do like. I'm a big big corn fan. There's, there's a poster back there. It used to be visible in my other videos, but it's, uh, you know, from the Entitled album, the worst Korn album. I got a poster of it. It's not that bad of an album. It's a pretty good album. But yeah, I'm curious to hear what you guys think of this track. For me, number two single. Really, really good track. I liked it a lot. I don't think Mick Gordon was on guitarist here because he did guests. He did guest stuff for, I think, a Monuments track. And the guest stuff he did was actually the, um, like, the symphonic ambient elements and, like, electronics. So I'd imagine instead of Lindsay Schoolcraft doing all these like orchestral parts, I think it was actually Mick Gordon like doing all the programming and stuff, which is a cool like way to feature. You get someone who's like fucking professional at it versus your guitarist who's just kind of learning on the fly. And then you just get like to really elevate uh, the quality of your ambient elements. I do think they add quite a bit uh, to music. It's really nice. I do like how they were kind of sparing with their ambient elements. It wasn't always on, right? They had the, uh, the pre-chorus or like in the verses where it's kind of minimal right lock it down and then you just let it open up just open the fucking floodgates and here's all these ambient elements flying at you it makes it so much more uh have so much more depth so much more meaning so much more of an impact which i do appreciate it's great uh curating of uh you know the uh the sounds you have available to you right you want to use them sparingly and when you do use them you want them to be impactful and that sparing use really contributes to the impact all the elements you put into your music i do like this song quite a bit very good this is definitely on the playlist uh but yeah i would love to hear your thoughts on this track comment them down below and uh ah!